square of numbers ending with five. So, okay, now, now let me ask you, uh, we're talking about square numbers. And um, so, for example, I'm going to give you a number that's, uh, uh, what, is, what is 25 squared? A lot of people memorize those numbers. Okay, so, but if we don't memorize, because there are a lot of, a lot of numbers, we can memorize a lot of, uh, too many of these. So, uh, you could do the normal way. Two, 25 squared. 25 squared means 25 times 25, right? So you could do the multiplication, just the normal multiplication. So can you uh, tell me what's the answer? How fast can you answer? Okay, if you know the answer already, then just, just write it. If you uh, don't know, you can actually do the calculation. It's okay to do it on paper at this time. But I'm going to show you later on, you don't have to use paper. Do it in your head, all right? <laughs> Who wrote that, okay? <laughs> Who was writing it? All right, 625, that's from Jasmine and Jane, okay, 625, okay, okay, so 625, so what I'm going to show you is a, a method to look at this number and get this without going through the normal calculation. For example, uh, 25, right? So I look at this, uh, this is a number ending with five. So look at the number two. The two is uh, before the five, okay? So besides the five, we have a two here. So now what I'm gonna ask you to do is this. Two multiplied by a number that's one bigger than two. So that's a three is six. And once you write a six, attach a 25 at the end. And that's your answer. All right, so just, what? <laughs> okay, so what, what, what did you do? All right, let me do it with another number. All right, what do you do? Okay, so, so uh, let's take a look at the next, uh, another number. Let's say, what about 45, okay, 45. 45 times 45, 45 squared, all right. So this is gonna be what? Uh, what I'm gonna do, look at the four here. Four times, the next number after four is five. Four times five is 20. So the answer will be 20. Uh, okay, let me, let me not uh, uh, do this, okay. T, yeah, 20 and 25, right? Just attach a 25 at the end. Oops, what am I doing here? I do the eraser. Yeah, okay. That's gonna be 2025. Right, so that's our answer. Okay, 2025. Remember, it's not 2045, it's 2025. Okay, so, so you always attach a 25 at the end. Now, let's try another one, right? 35 square. So now do this method again. I'll show you this method again and I'll let, let you guys do it next, okay? So three, take the three. Three times the next number is four. That's 12. 12, 25. Okay, so you do you get it? No. Quickly, there, there are only a few such numbers, okay? So let me, let me ask you what's next. Uh, uh, I'll just give you another, another problem, okay? So 85, 85 squared. Tell me quickly, tell me quickly, what is it? Seven two two five. Okay, you guys are quick. So 
Everybody gets seven two 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 five. Okay. Okay. So uh, try another one. Okay. So what about seventy five squared? Five six two five. Five six two five. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So okay. Now you guys are fast. Now you're fast. Now we all, we can almost read everything here, but I'm gonna give you something more challenging. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna clear the board. All right. So the next question will be uh, three digit numbers. 105 squared. So write it out. 105 squared. What is it? Yeah. Okay. Still very quick? Okay. Still very quick. 11025. Okay. The 11025. Of course. 10. We treat this number as a 10. And times 11, that's 110. Okay, 11025. Very quick. Okay, very good. Very good. So now the next number I'm going to have is this 115 squared. Can we still do it the same way? Yeah. So you see, we're, we're going into the three digit number squared. Usually we're going to write down that's, a, that's a several steps. Okay, but here, what we're going to do is 11 times 12. And remember, I showed you about multiply by 11, right? So you, you, you just do the 12, and then you put the 1 and 2 apart, and then put the sum 3 in the middle. That's actually the answer for this. And then you attach a 25 at the end. That's 1, 3, 2, 2, 5. Very nice, okay? Very nice. You guys all got it, okay? So... So yeah, so, but then what is the next number? Next question I'm gonna give you is, uh, what if I have a 140, uh, wait, let, let me do, uh, yeah, 145 squared. Now this case, in this case, we no longer have multiplied by 11. We have what? Yeah, let's do this quickly, All right? So 145 squared. I see you're already doing something impossible, okay? So you're, you're so fast. Okay, 21025. You guys are too so fast because you actually learned the skills. I just, I just show you. It's not that hard, right? So it's, it's a, yeah, it's a three-digit number. We're doing, come on, guys. We're three-digit number, and we do a square. And then you guys come up with a few seconds. That's so good, right? So this is just... A, this is the trick we, we just learned, right? So, okay. So that's very good, okay? So let's do another practice. 175 squared. Now this take a while, take a while, then give it, give it time, okay? Okay, so what is your answer? 175 squared. Three oh six two five three oh six two five. I can't believe it. I don't. I don't actually believe you. Is that right or not? Okay, you're so fast. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna verify with my calculator. Okay, it's right. Okay, so yeah, so you guys learn this, right? So so it actually, this actually combined uh, the uh, the method we had earlier, right? So we actually had the 17 times 18, and then you actually use that method, multiplying those, those 17 and 18, and then use that, and then you attach a 25 at the end, right? Okay, so the next thing is, are we um, actually, are we actually good uh, uh, for, this, the, for this method? It's, it's actually, do we have to have the number end with five, right? So um, let me clean the board. Let me clean the board. 
Okay. So the next thing I'm gonna tell you is uh, uh, this method doesn't only uh, apply here, okay? So we could have some other numbers. It doesn't have to be a square of numbers. We can say, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have this number, 33 times 37. So this two digit multiplication, we usually do this uh, the normal way. It's uh, gonna take a, take a while, okay? But we use the same idea. I'm gonna use the same idea. This number is three because of the, the ten digits are the same, the number is three. And then we're going to three times the next number is four. That's give us 12. And uh, I'm not going to attach a 25 at the end, okay? I'm going to do, look at the uh, units digits. It's called a three and a seven. Three times seven is 21. So I'm going to attach a 21 at the end of 12. And that is your answer. Okay, it's just that, just that, okay? So, so you just, okay, what did you do? Okay, what did you do? So let me show you what I did. So the tens digits are the same, three. And the unit digits, three and seven. So what's three and seven? They actually add up to 10. They add up to 10, okay? Add up to 10. So, if they out of the 10, we can do this, right? So, so you see the five is just a special case. When we say end with five, because the five plus five is 10. In this case, anything, any two numbers out of the 10, we can do the same method. Uh, it, of course, the last, the last two digits will be the product of these two. So let's try it again. Let's try another number, okay? So uh, 41 times 49. Okay, this one, uh, the, the tens digits are both four. And the units digits, one plus nine is 10. Okay, let's do this. This, we can do four times five. Four times five is 20. And we have one times nine is nine. But no, we don't want to, we don't want to just attach a nine here. Because this it's a yeah it's a four digit number. We're gonna put twenty here and we put an O nine here. Okay. So for this method, for this method, the, the the thing you need to be careful is the one times nine. You have to put a zero nine here. You have to put zero nine. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Okay. So that's that's the same thing about the square of the number with the end with five, but. Uh, it's uh, we don't have to do five. We have we have to uh, uh, the last two digits have to add up to ten. Okay, so then that will give you the the 